Daf Tesvav on base, page thirty, and uh, we are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12 lines on the bottom of the page. The last uh, word on the line is Rabbi, is Rabbi. And that is Will Rupto. Now, a lot of new concepts tonight. If it's uh, we're really um, one after the other. Rabbi Yochan Moshe Rabbi Benoya. Rabbi Yochan A. Rabbi Benoya said, Asu Mashka based Sevilla. Now, for uh, uh, the, um, the case is like this. Mashka based Sevilla means here, let's take this cup as an example. This Skokie Yeshiva cup. So, uh, if you have it, a Kaylee, a vessel which has liquids in it, and you touch, uh, uh, it also has the pos- has possibly being Tomei, in Tumor de Rabbana, Tumor de Rice, a part of the Kaylee becomes Tomei, the whole thing becomes Tomei. But in Tumor de, R- de Rabbana, on a rabbinic level, so if this part of the keli is tame the inside then the outside is not tame nor is the handle that's called base severe the have place for the etzba so or and vice versa the handle is tame the inside is not nor is the outside and also the, the third way is to bat the outside meaning the bottom is tame not the outside not the handle nor the inside okay so the cup is subdivided into three portions so uh, uh, what is the principle that Chazal followed when they said that vis-a-vis a rabbinic tuma, the cup has three components? So Rabbi Yehudah Moshe Rabbeinu said also mashka based sphere and mashka based midrachaya. So they made it like the liquids which are in the slaughterhouse in the base hamikdash. That is an interesting thing. The Gemara in in, in Pesachim and the Bavli brings down a, a machlokas. Between Ram and Shmuel, whether Mashka Bay Mid Bachai, the, the liquids in the slaughterhouse of the Beis were Tomei the rice or not on the Torah level. But the Yushami holds that on the Torah level, they they certainly can become Tomei if they come into contact, meaning with Tumo, which is on the Torah level. The question when they come into contact with Tumo de Rabbanim, for example, let's say in the Mashka Bay in, in, the, um, in the slaughterhouse of Beis Hamikdash, somebody dropped their, sand, their lunch sandwich. In the uh, which was tummy, in the uh, water which is there to, to to rinse off the body of the uh, of the carbon or to help skin it. Let's say the water it fell into that water, so does it make the water tummy or not? So normally that with the food is tummy, it only makes it's another substance tummy the rabbana, not the rice. So the question is in this case is the tummy tummy the rabbana or the chazal say that. Mashka Bebi Bachai Dachon means for the convenience of the Beis Amikdash. They said any liquids which otherwise be Tommy to Rabbon are not Tommy in the Beis Amikdash. Kind of like we have principles, similar principle that the Surim of Shabbos, prohibitions of Shabbos, which are the Rabbon, don't apply to the Beis Amikdash either because H plus Bamikdash, they didn't make the rabbinic decrees in the Beis Amikdash. So the same thing would apply here. So that's, that's what it says. That uh, also Mashka Bebi Tzaviya. When holding the the, the, the the liquids on the back of the cup are kamashra based in the chayyim like the liquids in the slaughterhouse based in mikdash. Kamal that Torah tells like you said over there, mashka based mit bechayim, the 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 liquids in the slaughterhouse based in mikdash are tohayim bim koma, the Torah in their place, and may makamach wherever. Let's say the same liquids float out of the slaughterhouse elsewhere. So immediately the tumor which was dormant till then takes hold of them. So, so to hear, what do you say? The co, uh, 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 the co, so to mashke based sevia, the, the beverage which adheres to the handle, tarim and kaimon, the Torah when they remain in their spot, meaning on the handle, or words, not metame anything else, which may mokamara, but they are tame when they leave the handle. Now, it's an interesting thing. That means that if you have this, uh, this, this, you, 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 uh, you have tame food which stuffed which touched the water on the handle as long as the water is still on the handle it's not metame anything else it's not metame the inside even if there's some you know uh, connection right it's not metame the inside and not metame the back but the moment this liquid falls off and goes somewhere else it's metame like any other two with the robot it's only a it's a temporary dispensation why? because the rabbis can say what they want <laughs> you're asking a 
Okay? What's the logic to it? It's a convenience. They only said that they, they said this in order to make sure, you know, because really, we don't want to want to avoid Truma becoming Tame if we can. So therefore, in order, they didn't enact the normal Tuma de Rabbanon, which they would you would expect them to enact in this case. Yeah, because water is Machshavah Tuma. Granted. So you think that the water... But that's so they said, by Tuma de Raisa, we can't help you. So by Tuma de Raisa, so suddenly Tuma de Raisa touches the outside, comes in contact with the inside, subsequently there's nothing we can do for you. But since there's only Tuma de Rabbanon, so we can bend the rules a little bit. That's really what it boils down to. Okay? So Why, when it's dry, when the water falls off, does the, does the tumor get? Because they only bet the rules when it's on the on the cup. So it falls off and it evaporates. No, then it's okay. But if it falls off, let's say if I start if uh, if uh, this would have, would really would be a graphic example if I want to ruin this blotter is to pour the coffee down here. So while it's on here, it still be tar. But the moment yeah. it falls off, it becomes tummy. Yeah, but the, the coffee will leave a residue. Water. True. The residue doesn't matter though. Even if coffee lives a residue. Once it dries up, it dries up. No. It's only while it's wet. Right. Why? Uh, because it's more yeah, it's no longer the same substance once it dries up. It's coffee grinds, I don't know, but it's not the, the same thing. So the presence, the water can't spread. The presence of the liquid stage right. uh, The bottom line is, as we uh, know, is that when I want to make a decree, they don't make a decree necessarily across the board. Sometimes they do, right? Uh, it's called low flu, where they don't draw the distinction. But sometimes the Rabbana only made a situational zero. This is the case over here. So it says the Gemara about the end, didn't we learn? Um, uh, well, I don't know if I read Rabbi Simon. Right, so Moshe Rabbi Shmuel Levi said, "Mashke beis mitbachaya." If the beverages left the slaros in the beis mitbachaya, they also the chutz. They went down they beyond those precincts. The gma, then they revert to the status of tumah, which is suspended while they were still in the slaughterhouse. So it says the gma. How can you say this? So at the end, do we learn in a bris? Mashke beis mitbachaya. The chutz which leave the slaughterhouse. She also the chutz which went down. They still retain their character of holiness, and we assume that means that they still retain their tara. Our Rabbi Yosef said, "Came a Rabbi Simon." Rabbi Simon supported this, and, and he repudiated, refuted his own question. Rabbi Chinnah and Rabbi Simon both said, "Shem Rishuvim Levi." They both said, "Name Rabbi Shuvim Levi." Kshayatzu b'chasru. When they went back, when they went out, and then they came back. Then they retain their status and they don't become tummy even when they're outside. However, when they uh, uh, when they went out, period. So then they no longer retain their status and then become tummy on the outside. Okay. Says one need of a mashke elio. What if the, uh, the 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 higher precincts of the base of mikdash in the courtyard became tummy and including that the uh, slaughterhouse liquid? But your show says viori. And that sort of liquid is now gushing down, pouring down. And we're on top of 31 now. Right, but 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 The but right, but right, but now that the, the waters are out, so uh, they are right, uh, the other but right, said, no. right, since when it came to be tar, initially they deprived it of all types of tumor. It still remains tar until some other a- a- a episode causes it to become tummy. Okay? So your question is, is the, um, when we suspend tumor from an object which is serving a, a certain purpose, so then when the suspension lapses, does it automatically become tummy or it still remains tar until some new antecedent causes it to become tummy? Okay? Says the Gemara, Rabbi Yahushua Vizir said, "How that that Dharma? This is all true that we make variations between the vessel and its handle and all those type of variations made. That's other that Dharma match we should move to Ochlin. It's only by be- by beverages which became tome by uh, by coming to contact with uh, foodstuffs. However, the mashkin should move the sherets, 
But when the beverages, meaning the liquids, come into contact with the sheret, with the dead rodent, whose tumors, of course, the risa, so then to may have all bets are off. You can't say that the handle remains tore independently of the cup, or that the 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 base amikdosh, there were the different areas and zones, and uh, the um, uh, uh, the mashka base be the chayyim in the slaughterhouse. Excuse me. The mashka base the chayyim slaughterhouse exempt from tumor. No, it's only when dealing with tumor the rabbanim, but now we're dealing with the, the rice level tumor, such as when a dead rodent comes in contact with any substances. Okay, and then they become totally regardless. Okay, is that clear? Yeah. What's the matter? I mean, I understand what you're saying, but it seems like unnecessary that the way they limit themselves, that just because there's a tumor, they're rising, they're not going to impose their own uh, regulations with regard to the extent of it. It's very rare that they uh, do things like that. There would be a cooler here, it would be a leniency. How could they be lenient here? No, because the fact of the matter is just because you have the tumor, the rice of one part of the cup, yeah. That doesn't mean that the whole cup becomes tummy because the Rabbanon have, have delineated the cup to, to various parts. But they can't do it if it's a B2 with Harisa. It's not an effective thing to do. Yeah, yeah that's just our life but what is there is the Harisa and the other No, it's very real because it's a very difference between what Rabbanon are doing and what the Torah does. What the Torah does is absolute. But the rabbis do, we can pop holes in. But, 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 but many, many of the teachings that you made you characterize the rice that you pointed out, for example, um, are derisive by, by an interpretive process. Right. That doesn't matter. No, I, I know. I'm just trying to make a point. And so the fact that there's an interpretive process, um, in both cases, in one case, it's the rice, which means that the remote the, 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 um, the right to be overly analytical. That way, it's essentially saying, essentially taken. But they have to be analytically point to a point in order to make the interpretation to get there. And where they stop and where they don't stop doesn't appear to be a question of the rice. It appears to be. I don't know if that's true. I think it does play a factor in what's question of the rice or not. Well, doesn't the factor play when the decision, the point at which in, in, in the critical argument the decision is made whether it's a or not? Once it's a they stop. Right. But if they, if they forego that question for a while, then maybe they go a little bit longer. And but they're not going to. Okay, when I can't tell you, you're not going to be happy no matter what I answer you. I'm quite sure I'll be thrilled with that Yeah, I know. You'll be thrilled with whatever I say, true. But nevertheless, you'll be happy. Okay? In other words, that's a problem which we face. I mentioned that when we learned in the morning, Masech the Beitza. People try and find consistency in what the Rabbana regard as being sacrosanct and what is not. That is an error. Because what happened was not, not that they had a great synod and all the cardinals got together and they started voting on these things. Rather, the things which were overlaid and uh, and decreed have kind of haphazardly over time. So therefore, you can't assume that you're going to be able to find a, a uh, you know uni- unifying grand unification theory, which is going to explain how everything fits together. So there, but the, you know, okay, so let's say you don't. You, you, let's say you do look at it atomistically and you take each individual um, question and you look at it without or dire. That's what we do. Yeah, except we do with some prejudice, not with without prejudice. <laughs> but not not that much prejudice. I mean, the basic prejudice we have is by that our bodies are going to be lean, except where we so find... Aren't you or never? I, I need to keep this with the death Well, you did it already, so you can take it, yes. It is, yes. Still, it is still not clear to me how using, what you the example, you yeah. to make generalization. Right. Why is it the cup of rice? Oh, it would be the rice if the tumor was the rice. The cup is the, the cup is not the issue. We're not talking about the cup, we're talking about tumor as pertains to the rice. Okay, why is the tumor not the rice? 
because it's only it's uh, uh, only selling Tommy to Rabbanon that came into contact with the, the beverages on the cup. I have an answer for everything. Not not always, <laughs> just for this case. Okay, so that's the Gemara for it. Tava to me, we learned over there. Call Kayla, this continues along the same lines. Call Kayla, Mishra, Machorai, Matok. Every vessel has distinct parts. In the back side, the inside, the extra made sphere and the the handle. Rabbi Tarfan Omer, says, not every handle is considered to be distinct or significant of itself from the bowl. Only only for a large wooden stir, uh, knead, uh, mixing or kneading bowl, because then it was essential to use the peg in order, I guess, to uh, whatever to do with it. Uh, 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 only there they need the handles. A kimmel kosos or kusas, even cups where the handles are not essential, they still have the parameters of handles. Ramir or Merlius dime to meos utoros. Ramir said a very interesting thing. Ramir says, it makes no difference whether the handle is Tame and he's tar, or whether he's Tame or the handle is tar. Nevertheless, the tumor always goes back and forth between him and the handle and does not spread to any other aspect of the cup or the bucket or whatever we're dealing with. Okay? Now, says the Gemara, uh, uh, Ramir, again, Ramir, 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 Tameos, Utoros. Makes a difference if my if my hand is tummy and the question is the cup, or my hand is torn, uh, and the question is the, the, the question is there from my hand. I'm not sure if I'm making making uh, making sense. Uh, if I'm holding the cup by the handle, either my hand is tummy. Yeah. And then the the, the, the leniency of Rabban is that that tumor doesn't transmit to the cup. Or the cup is Tame, and Rabban's leniency was it doesn't transmit to my hand. That's because you're not holding it by the handle. Yeah. The cup is open. Right. But if the handle were Tame, then it would transmit to your hand. <laughs> Absolutely. What do you want to ask? Good question. So says more, Red Mayor, Mayor, the United Mayor, the Torah, it works both ways. Rabbi Meir, Rabbi Amar, Rabbi Yosef, Lomru El Lomru El Yodaim Tahoros Bilvan. It's only hands which are tar, not hands which are tummy, which are involved in the uh, in the uh, 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 in this halacha. So what happens is like this: Kora Meir, it makes no difference. Like you're saying, if I put the tumas in the cup, and the question is whether my hand on the handle avoids that. Uh, too much in the handle and, and the wine in the cup avoids that. In both cases, we say that the uh, 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 that the tumor is isolated. Rabbi Yossi said it only works when the hands are torn, meaning that the liquid in the cup is not going to render my hands unfit. But if my cancer told me that it will render the cup or whatever else we're dealing with on the What? Uh, I'm sorry. That, I don't know what I said. But uh, again, let me tell you what re- 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 said. That if, if the cup is Tommy, my hands don't become Tommy. But if my hands are Tommy, then the cup will become Tommy. Okay? Says my crime, let's analyze our mayor first. Tell you other tomatoes. If its hands were tummy, by Korea coast the back of the cup is tar. Mashkeluchot, and there's moisture outside. Al gabi goes on the back side of the cup. Vachos of the base we also held by the handle. Pshito she'ein mashke mitame minayad. It's obvious that the beverage does not become tummy from the handle. Mitame esakos, in order to make a cup of wine, whatever else is tummy as well. Uh, now, uh, 
Yeah, because that's part of the, the rabbinic uh, leniency. The adain to meil su toros. I don't remember such a thing, but that it's still certainly possible. But look, if my hands again, this is a case like this, right? We have a case here. Uh, um. My hands are torn, and the back of the cup is torn. Now I hold here, and there's moisture going from here to here. I'm not me the cup. Okay, that's fine. Vice versa would be metami the cup. If my hands are torn, yeah. and too much touches down here, so now I become tummy as well. This applies if the substance of issue is just plain water. What? This applies if the substance of issue is just plain water. Yeah, but I just made a mistake because it may always work either way. Well, I was going to make stuff with Rabbi Yossi. What about, what about condensation? Uh, condensation also might have an impact. Where is it? Is that based yeah. on water? Is it off the hand? Yes. It's on the Yes. So it only affects the hand, according to Rameir. Time out. My hand remains dead. According to Rameir, Rameir both works both ways. Why? Why is that the case? They're abundant. You keep asking that question. You keep getting the same answer. He didn't put down the yes. subject. It's okay. All. These are notes from uh, people. Now wait, Rabbi Yossi says, "Lo really a dime toros bilvad." Rabbi Yossi said, "What it means is that my hands don't become tame. In other words, if this is tame and I'm tar, my hands retain their taro, but not vice versa. If my hands are tame, then the tuma spreads. So it's a one-way street. It's a one-way street. So it's only with regard to the focuses on the status of the hands." Is that, is that right? Yossi? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Quite mayor, it's a stat no, it is. It yeah, it doesn't make a difference. Okay. The logic's not specified, but now the one's gonna go through the logic. The oh. gonna it's the uh, mother doesn't lead it dang, the one's actually gonna discuss it. Oh. So it says the Gamal and um now we'll cry be mayor. That's where I put a little olive in the uh, oh, yes. in the parentheses. Cry mayor like cry mayor. How you other tomatoes his hands with Tommy? Okay, so my, again, our graphic illustration, my hands here are Tome. I'm holding this as Tome hands, right? Down here, the, the bottom of the cup is Tome, right? And there's beverage gushing over from the cup. All over the place it's going, right? So there's beverage going all over the cup, right? Uh, I'm holding it by the hand, however, Pshita, it's obvious. Shaina mashke mitame minayat. Even though my uh, hands are tame, it doesn't make the beverage tame. That the tumor should then jump back into the cup. The cup remains tame. Because it's a derabara. Okay? So it remains tame. But only one is So, uh, 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 kishem shaina mashke. Now, now the question is like this, it's really a question. Uh, what about the, the uh, it's just like the the mashke, the beverage, on the cup does not become tiny from the hand. The words of the the inside, right? Does the mashke also not become tummy from the hand? It's a fascinating question. In other words, okay, it's not the time of the inside of the cup, right? The inside of the cup is torn. Let's say this is a loaf of bread, though, right? So here I have water gushing all over the place, right? And it's not the time of the inside of the cup. And then some water drips down on the on the bread. Is the bread torn? Okay? Why? Is it cool and bread? See, it's a chiddish. It's worse as is a question. 
But let's say maybe they uh, when they took no, the no, handle no, when they dissociated the handle let's say they dissociated the handle for the cup maybe dissociated from reality altogether. And then he better not all bets are off. The Gemara's will come out like that. I'm just thinking it's a special rule. Visibly inside the cup. Yeah. Right. You're correct. What if it were true, but instead of cooling uh, no, it doesn't. I mean, the conclusion will. We'll see the answer rub proof. So it says, well, the Shemimi Adol, let's hear from this case. It's very improved. A mashkin that, uh, mashkin, uh, mashkin trying to sit in a Here you have, uh, let's well, use our graphic illustrations. I have here, I don't know, it's actually a whole water. Anyway, uh, here I have, let's say, this is the ground, okay? You're saying that something you said didn't hold water, or didn't get it? <laughs> here I have, here I have the, uh, the, the ground, right? And I have Tomei, Tomei uh, liquids on the ground, right? Uh, not the Tomei, they're Tomei in? Are they Tomei ready? No, they're Tor. Master Tor, the Sinim Bakarka. I have here two Tor liquids in my, in my, uh, on the ground. Naga Ben Kikar Tomei. If, if uh, 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 a loaf of bread which is tummy touch them, Timon makes them tummy. The, the beverage on the ground. Lays a dove or Timon. Why does it make it tummy? What does it mean to make it tummy? Lola Tommy Kikar Mokamacha does not mean that they themselves can be Matami something else. But they receive true Tumon now. Now it's Mibne, here's what they want to be disproved. Mibne Shein Gabe Karka. Oh no, it's not like you. The nation of Gabi Kar because it's there on the ground. Or Gabi Coast low. The only reason why these again I have liquid on the ground, right? The liquid on the ground. This liquid now becomes it was tar, becomes touched by something Tommy. So then if it goes further and hits a piece of bread, it's Matami that piece of bread. Says so Mara, why did they pick the cockamamie case of liquids on the ground? We're not talking about a mikvah. A mikvah can't can't receive tumor just liquids that are sitting on the ground. Why do they pick liquids sitting in a cup, which is much more normal, right? So it must be, says the Gemara, that if liquids are sitting on the cup, and they become tame because my hands, which are tame, touch them, and then fall on the loaf of bread, they talk are not matame the loaf of bread. In fact, this handle is divorced from reality. And anything which now comes into contact with this handle, even though my hands are tame, it's not matame the cup, nor is it metame the piece of bread on the floor. Because they, that's the long... The, the, well, why the hand? i give you a better answer. No, same thing, any component of the cup. Because once they made this the, the rabbinic decree, this leniency, they followed it through. Then they said that means that liquids which are coming into contact with my hand on the handle do not transmit too much anywhere else. Okay, what about if you're, or, or your hand on the side of the cup? Same idea. So the side of the cup is the same idea. Because the side of the cup is like Achorayim, it's called the back of the cup. Even though I said Achorayim is the bottom, but it's really the whole yeah, side of the cup. Okay. okay? So, uh, it says, yeah. So, it says the Mother, El Lamashka Nosun Agabi Aya. Uh, what? Um, this is a question like this. We have a question of this. Elamashki Nasuna Gabaya. I have a beverage on my hand. Vaksu Bibait Sviaso. And I hold it uh, I hold on to the on to the hand. Now the trick is, although it's not explicit tomorrow, but uh, the Cormier brings down, the back of the cup is tummy. No, it's the outside of the cup is tummy. So I'm holding on to the handle. The outside of the cup is tummy. Right? So now, in that case, the way I say that nonetheless, that the beverage, uh, it does not become tame from the cup in order to be metame my hand. Is that the case? In other words, I'm holding on over here, right? My hands are now tore. What about the back of the cup is tame? Okay, this tumor on the back of the cup impact me over here and make my hands tummy. Okay? That's the Gemara's question. 
Because if the liquid comes from the t- this well, world over here to over here, does it make my hands dirty? So, we had that scenario before. Didn't we have that case earlier? Well, I, I would I would have guessed that it's tar. Let's see what the Gemara says. Not sure we had it explicitly, but it sounds like it would be tar. So it says the Gemara, Nishmini Minato. Let's learn from here. Mashkin to the city by Garko. Same idea we have, we have, uh, it, uh, uh, no, this time Mashkin to make impure beverages on the ground. Naga ben Kikar Tor. Uh, if a uh, piece of bread touches them, the piece of bread becomes Tor. Nikma lo ama, uh, 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 Nikma lo ama. So it doesn't say that the, um, sorry, much bigger fish. The Shmei Me'adol, let's try again this paragraph. Mashkit Tzmei, the Sunni Bakarka, if you have uh, impure beverages in the ground, Nogabem Kikar Tor. If, if, if the loaf touches them, then it's Tor. Ni? I'm sorry. I just really badly do that, good morning. No one was confusing me. Nogabem Kikar Tor Nitma. That's the way to read it. Naga bam kikar tahar nitma. If a loaf of bread touches the, that beverage on the ground, becomes tummy. So again, here the one is bringing a for a riot from the cockamamie case. The case is I have liquid on the ground, and water spills on it, on, on a piece of bread, and makes it. For, actually, water can't spill up. A piece of bread falls on the water, and that water is metami the bread. So again, the one is by the white choose the cockamamie case. It was a case where water spilled from a cup onto the bread. Isn't that a much better case, right? So it says the Gemara, Kikar. It must be that uh, only the bread becomes tame. Hayat lo, and not a hand, right? Meaning that if the um, so much sure I have this right. Or wouldn't the hand? Absolutely. I'm sure the holds that hands don't become tummy. Yeah. Now I'm not sure. I don't know why. Because the truth is here we're talking about not even in the cup. We're talking about a uh, uh, hand comes into contact with tummy liquids in the ground. This is a tummy which we rectify by washing the hands or yeah sure it's but the question whether it becomes that way because he holds it's a one way street if, if the hands are, are tarred to begin with they cannot receive too much from the water on the handle based the sphere or the water that's on the ground that's tarred that's consistent right you know what we said earlier no no it's not because this, the water in the ground is a new scenario. Why extrapolate from one to the other? No, the, uh, uh, I, I obviously. There is no general concept. No, there is no general concept. It's correct. Well, according but to the mayor, the mayor general concept. Yeah, I think it is a very big finish. But just an extension of this one-way street philosophy. That the, the hands are chopper. They're mm-hmm. not going to be in Kapotuma no matter where the source is. Whether it's in the cup or on the ground. Well, then what, what, what they, 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 okay, no, no, we don't have to I just snuck a look at the Pnei motion. Pnei motion explains it much better. He says, although it's not necessarily the simple shot, but it does work. He says that um, Gemara means to say a little bit more than it actually does say. Gemara means to say is that um, Gemara means to say that uh, if uh, it, uh, why do we take this whole case of the pizza bread which touches the, the water on the ground? Talk about a key piece of a case where you have a cup and a hand on the cup. 
So it's not that your hand doesn't become tame from water on the ground. Your hand will become tame from water on the ground. What it means is that your hand doesn't become tame from water on a cup. It says if your hand became tame from water on a cup, when some other part of the cup was tame, so then I would have said that would have been the case the Bryce chose instead of the cockamamie case of the water on the ground. That's what it means to say. So again, the case like this, I have a, the case is a case where I have a cup, right, and the outside is tummy, and I'm touching here on the handle, and liquid goes from the outside of the cup to my uh, to my to my hand, right. So does that make my hand tummy or not? Now I know that my hand doesn't make the inside of the cup tummy. So the mayor said, and I also know that the inside of the cup doesn't make my hand tummy. That's the two-way street according to me. The Gemara is asking, what about the outside of the cup and my hand? And at that corner it says, if the outside of the cup tummy would affect my hand, then the case the Bryce would give would not be a case where a piece of bread touches tummy liquids on the ground. It would have been a case where my hand comes into contact with tummy liquids, which is a much more prevalent case. Since the Gemara doesn't discuss, it's Bryce who doesn't discuss this case. So therefore the Gemara comes to the conclusion that according to mayor at least, where the outside of the cup is tummy and touches my hand, nevertheless my hand remains tummy. Okay? That's what the mark concludes according to the it, it, You see, it doesn't make sense at all to you because you, you, you absorb my lesson from before too well. Really, there is, a, there is here a general principle. The general principle is that once... No, the, the principle is there's no absorption. They blasted the cup to smithereens. In other words, in essence, now this cup is not a cup, halachically, but what is it? Three separate components, which uh, it, optically, to you, it seems it's all one cup. But it's a handle and outside and inside. Exactly. Right. That's exactly the point. Okay. Well, you're getting this down fat very well. Okay, so it says a lot further. So it's because you're a lawyer. So it says a lot further. Uh, uh, now, Krabiosi. <laughs> That, like Rabbiosa. Hoi yod of Tahoros. Now, the Rabbiosa, of course, if his hands are torn, Bachori at the coast of and the back of the cup is torn, Mash Genosun al Gabe Yad, and he has beverage on his hands, Vasa Bebez Vyosa, and he's holding by the handle, Pshito She'ein Mash Gen Metame Min al Coast, so beverages in the cup are not Metame in his hand, right? In other words, that's what Rabbiosa said. Rabbiosa said his, his hands, don't, which are torn, don't become Tommy. That was Rabbiosi's position. And Mayor holds also his hands are tummy, they don't make the cup tummy. Rabbiosi said it's one way street. If his hands are torn, the cup's tumma does not affect his hands. But not his hands are then it will affect the cup. That was Rabbiosi's mouth. The, the outside of the cup. No, even the inside of the cup. It will affect the according to Rabbiosi. It will affect even the outside of the cup. And the inside of the cup. Because, because you know, it's only if my hands are torn, they remain torn. But my hands are torn, they affect everything. Inside or outside? Inside or outside. It seems, at least at this point. Okay, so it says more. Uh, 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 There's three differences between the three. Oh, yeah. Well, it could be. But then why hasn't finished developing yet? It's many. Ukishem, now comes the question. Ukishem shein a mashka mitame mina kosa tame seya, just like the beverage doesn't become toy from the cup to make the hand tame. Kach in a mashka mitame mina kosa, is it true that also the beverage from the cup, when it falls out, litame kiko, it's not going to fall out, litame kiko mokamaka. In other words, the same case here before. What happens if beverage falls out instead of on my hand, it falls on a loaf, right? In other words, instead of my hand, Forget about my hand over here, but rather beverage falls on the loaf of bread underneath my, underneath the cup. What's that lacha? Right? No, I'm holding on to it. But the beverage, instead of falling on my hand, falls down here. Right? What's the status of the loaf of bread? So it says, Mark, this means my dough. Let's start from here. Mashkin, now there's a couple of typos here. See, mashkin to hori. Tor, this is a uh, tor beverages. The Sunni Makarka, the similar case you had to before, could put tar beverages in the ground, knock up a hen, 
Now here, the you change the the gilin hashas on the side makes a major change. Not of a hand, he actually switches around more later on with here. Not of a hand, he takes the phrase from the end, from the fourth line from the end of the page, and puts it here. Not of a hand, kos shachor of Torah and bebeis tviyasa. Okay, so this is actually a uh, 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 I mean shachor of tmeim to me. She switches the phrase and makes it different. Yeah, in other words, here I have beverages on the ground, right? The be- the, the, there's there's liquid on the ground, right? Down here. Let's assume this liquid on the ground. Here's the ground. Here's the liquid. I touch this liquid, this liquid, with my cup, and my cup is uh, is tummy. Okay. So I'm actually touching this liquid with my cup. So it says the Gemara, it says the Brisa, Nitma. It becomes tummy. This beverage on the ground becomes tummy. Lays the Dover Nitma. Why it become tummy? Lo le tummy akikab makam acher. Is it does not become a tummy. This is only because in order that a loaf of bread should become tummy. When this water on the ground falls to another loaf of bread. And it says, Mimnesha yagabi akarka. Because they're on the ground. While gabi ayad lo. But not if they're on the hand, right? So it's an interesting thing. What he's saying is that the only way that the water can fall and become tame is if it falls directly onto the liquid on the ground. But if I'm holding the hand, the Bryson says the only way that this cup can make a beverage tame that can be a tame piece of bread is if the cup itself comes into contact with the other beverage. And then this beverage goes and falls to something else and then makes it to me. But if the cup spills on my hand and then spills on the ground, so the special dispensation which my hand received, which applies also to the to the to the to the, to the loaf of bread, which is underneath my hand. Okay? So I might say my wife have thought that my hand is a tumor free zone. But then once it leaves the tumor free zone, it goes back to its shame tumor, and then when it's the piece of bread underneath the cup it makes a tome, that's why it tells me that it doesn't. Okay? So it says in our further. That okay, that's fine. Let's try the next case. Elamashkinosnogabekos. You have beverage on the cup. Vaso Vesioso. And you're holding it by the hand. Okay? You have beverage on the cup. And that's back here. Okay, around here you have beverages. Vav the base you're holding it by its handle. I feel okay, nevertheless, ain mashke mitame, the, uh, do I say that the beverage does not become tome, mean, it should be mean on coast, from the cup, the tame is a to be mitame in my hand. So in essence, a question like this. Rabbi Elzi said, if liquid comes from here, from the inside, to my hand, so that's how I'm going to my hand. What if liquid comes from here to the outside, and from there comes to touch my hand? In that case, it's my time in my hand. In other words, do they make a doctor from the inside, or even from the outside? That's how I'm going to my hand. That would make any sense. You could say differently between the same the side of the cup and the same as the handle. So, what you're just making the flow from the cup to your hand and the handle? Or whether it flows from the back of the cup to your hand in the handle? I'm not sure. I don't have an answer to you. I don't know. I'm not sure why it should make a difference. There are probably some reason, but I can't think of it offhand. Well, let's see how the more resolve it. So, the Shemina may not let's let's resolve from here. Mashkin to me, to me, the Sunni Bevates, the Yosu Shokos. If you have Tome beverages on the handle of the cup, Naga by hand, and they were touched by, here it should be instead of the rest of the line, Kikar Tor, they were touched by a piece of bread, which is Tor, tar, Nigma. It now becomes to Tummy. Now the Gilean Hashat's thrown in the words. Here it says, Nigma Kikar. Lomar El Kikar. It's only the bread. Avul Yad Lo, but not the hands. So meaning it says, uh, he says here, the, the, the Bryce says, if I have a piece of bread here, and the water spills from the... Um, the water spills either from the inside of the cup, or actually here it says from the handle, right? So the, the, it touches the loaf of bread, so then the loaf of bread becomes tummy. It sounds like only a loaf of bread. 
If my hands are touching the cup, no matter where the, 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 the water is coming from, or the beverage is coming from, it's coming from the inside, or coming from the handle, or coming from the outside, my hands remain tar nonetheless. Okay? So according to the Kuen Rabbi, Kuen Rabbi Meir, again, it's a two-way street. Kuen Rabbi, it's a one-way street. Kuen, Kuen Rabbi Meir, however, uh, yeah, Kuen Rabbi, both of them. Once I, my hand received the dispensation, or whatever received the dispensation, the cut, so that remains true, even if then the water goes somewhere else. If the water then falls subsequently on a loaf of bread, then still, whatever dispensation will apply to the cup will apply later on to whatever comes afterwards. The, uh, however, take away the hand and put the loaf of bread instead of the hand, so then the dispensation doesn't apply, of course, and that tumor free zone is, doesn't pertain. If you, have a, if you have your hand on a cup, and you, have a, you, have a, you are lifting the cup to put it to your lips, and yeah. both the bread underneath, it's exceedingly important to know whether the drippings of the cup were coming from your hand or the cup. That's correct. It would be exceedingly important to know where they come from the cup or from the hand. Absolutely. Of course, not in our day and age, but time the more would be exceedingly important. Well, right. that would because we don't have two moon tower anymore. We don't care. It doesn't matter. I mean, in terms of our hands, we will have to wash them anyway. And more than that, we can't do it. We don't do it anymore. So. You're right. With Vaya Beis Mitzvah, the one we have to. Okay, no sees a medrus. Somebody who carries the medrus, who no sees the truma, he carries the truma. Have a low son the Kodesh. Now, this is a case where a guy came into contact with a tumor, let's say he, co- he came into contact with clothes worn by his off, or a person who had any mission. So then afterwards, he's Tommy. But he can still carry truma as long as it's in a sealed container. But he can't carry Kodesh, even if it's in a sealed container. Why is that? So this is what I'll tell you, right? Bobby Shem Rebid of the name Maishu Shiro. So that episode happened. Maishu Bechaz, the episode of the individual, Shenikola Chaviso. His, his vessel became punctured and he sealed it with sandolo with his, with his sand the problem was that his sand was tummy so therefore since the sand was tummy actually now when he sealed the vessel with his sandal so the, the stuff inside the vessel came into contact with the sandal and the sandal made it tummy so like Shuma that's not so terrible so still stepping out what? no he it took up a sand and plugged up the hole in the uh, vessel. He didn't have glue. It's a patch. Yeah, it was a patch. He took the sand. Don't ask me. The old days they had to improvise. You would go and buy some super glue. He couldn't. So he took his sand off and he plugged up the hole. If I wanted to close the hole in your helmet, I would take off my shoe and close up the hole. That what is inside this vessel? Carbon. That's right. So you're, you're He was he did a bad thing. But subsided since that once happened, so that we made it the creep. This is cor- this is carbon that he that he that he has plugged all the way up to He's a coney track well it's a slaughter range, so he's yeah. carrying this, this stuff to he's the carrying this to it to to go eat it. And he and he uses his shoe to plug up. Yeah. Okay, so that's why I made the creed. Can't carry carbonos when you when you yourself are tome, because obviously then you can do could come to all sorts of problems like this. Rabbi Zir and Rabbi Yasser, Bishem Rabbi Lez said, "Oh, Rabbi Nasser, what if you did carry it? You were a person who came in contact with the tumor of Azov, and you carried carbonos. So if you believe it, if you post facto, if you carried it, tar, we assume it's tar." The same said, There's certain things they said don't carry. So if you did go and carry those things, the, 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 after the fact, Tommy, we say no good, it remains Tommy. Those who said lo so you shouldn't carry him. But if you did transgress and carry, Tohar, it still is Tohar. And this is one of these cases. Om Rabbi Zira, Kumi Rabbi Mona, Rizis, Hakum Mahan, a cute thing. He says, Laysa Dhamra, this does not teach you, Shalasu Gufo Kizav Eitzla Kodesh. It means this guy who had come into contact with a, um, uh, with a, um, 
with a madras with something which something which was tummy, he obviously does not become like a zav himself. Because where he is zav himself, a zav which carries anything makes the thing tummy, even if he doesn't actually touch it. So must he first came into contact with something which was from a zav is not the same as zav himself, even the rabbanon, and that's why it doesn't become tummy. But yeah, but after the fact, it doesn't. It's not tummy. On Malaysia, he said not necessarily. He said. Uh, I'm sorry. So he wanted to say we're talking about a guy who constantly eats Kodesh. And therefore, he is meticulous. So that's why the truth is, he didn't actually come to contact with something which was a Medrash Azov. Right? He, doesn't, he just doesn't know if he did or didn't. So therefore, we give him the benefit of the doubt, we say after the fact it's Tahar. But the truth is that if somebody we would not know, right, so if somebody wasn't constantly eating Kodesh, and so then, in fact, we would be concerned that perhaps it would be a problem. That's uh, one interpretation. Another interpretation is that he wasn't addressing the issue directly. Saying, you're right, with that type of a person who came in contact with his love or potentially came in contact with his love is not his love but there's another parameter here which we have to take into account yeah we're going to come to this side okay there's another parameter we have to take into account which is that the kaling which is carried has to be one which is designated for carbonos not one which is designated for truma because we said previously that a kaling which is tar for truma is not tar for carbon. So this bit the habit that it's okay it's only if not in addition to making sure not to have touched it, he also made sure to carry the cane which is Mizuka, which is designated for Korban. Shalokamidas Hako now, going back to Mishnah, Shalokamidas Hakodesh Midas Truma. Another difference mentioned in Mishnah by between Kodesh and Truma is that the that, that uh Shiva Kodesh, if you have a leather pouch which has to do with which holds carbonas and you have to now dunk in the mikvah, Matis Akutim, you undo the the the, the knots, come and carefully clean out all the, the holes that there shouldn't be any interrupting uh, 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 substance. Because Khatita, but Hakka Kosher, and then you dunk, then you dunk it and only afterwards you tie it together. With a truma by a truma kosher, you can hold have it tied together, Hakak might be put in the mikvah even if it's tied so you don't have to untie it. Why is that? Oh truma's reason it. Because Ochle Truma, they are accustomed to being meticulously careful because it's a prevalent th- a thing to eat Truma. They chotz, you know, so, uh, and they always, they always make sure that their vessels are constantly clean. However, Ochle Kodesh, in his reason, people only very occasionally eat Korbanos. So therefore, in a chotz, so they're not accustomed to making sure the cane they use for that purpose are clean. So therefore, we make them specially clean out before they put it in the mikvah. I will go on down to Oh boy, this is tough stuff.